Oh my god, is it summer yet? I am so over the cold. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, I'm a little cold. Here in Southeast Virginia, it doesn't get terribly cold. It's been high as in the upper 20s all weekend, I'm over it. Oh man, but I feel for you guys up in like Chicago, Midwest, where it's like high too. That sucks. All right, so we got a busy week this week on this C8 Stingray. Uh, we are taking off the bumper here shortly, the rear entire bumper, uh, back end, if you will. We are putting on a Z51 spoiler on a car that does not come with a Z51 spoiler, so that'll be fun. And then after this video, probably Friday, Saturday, uh, we'll be doing a full catback exhaust. So I'd be surprised what it is. I had the same setup with the same brand on my C6. I loved it. Loved it. This is a exhaust. It doesn't get a lot of love. It is an MPP. Uh, it's not a straight pipe situation. It's a real quality exhaust. I'm not saying that straight pipes aren't quality exhaust, but I just like blowing the actual mufflers when you want to be quiet around your neighbors. So that's the next video. But today we are installing the spoiler on the C8s right here. This thing is so light. This came off my, my friend's uh, 2023 C8 C51. We did a, a video on it a few months back. Uh, he went with a high wing. I got his, his spoiler. The only prep work I've done that I put 3M sticky pads back where it belongs on there. I got the hardware right there. Uh, we're going to be drilling six holes, nine millimeter on the outside, seven on the inside, but I'll walk you through it. So yeah, let me collect my tools, get my drill and we'll get to work. Oh, and real quick before I forget, so I've been given the opportunity to promote an awesome cause for MS research. If you know anyone with MS, it absolutely sucks. In any case, uh, I'm not much of promotion sweepstakes, guys, but this is a nonprofit for a good cause and a chance for my viewers to win a literal brand new Z06 plus $20,000 for $25. Pretty amazing. I'll show you how to do it real quick. Simply click on the link down in the description under comments. It'll be pinned and it'll take you right here to this website. This is the car the Z06 plus $20,000. By using my promo code, you get 30% more tickets. Simply to do it, click donate now to enter. Use my promo code right there. Click how many tickets you want. And this is how many more you get using my promo code, fill in your information and boom, you are done. You have until August 25th. I'll remind you guys in the future. Yeah, it's for your cause, it's vetted. This is a nonprofit. It's not a scam, I promise you. All I ask is that if one of my viewers does in fact win the Z06 is that I want to review it. So I don't care where you are at some point, I'll link my way out there, I'll find you, I want to review, I want to meet you and or drive it here on the East Coast. So that'd be a lot of fun. Thought I'd share that with you guys in case you want to win a brand new Z06. All right, on to the video. All right, so here's the prep work I already did that doesn't really need any explanation. Took the wheel off, cars jacked up on both sides, obviously. And if I was underneath the car, I'd put a jack stand, but I'm, I'm not. So here's what's going on. I got my template down. This should come. If you buy a wing from a manufacturer without a uh, Z51, it should come with a template. Template is cut out and taped down. I've adjusted this thing probably six, seven times. And no matter what, my end pieces are off about, geez, eighth of an inch on both sides. Kind of nerve wracking. See it right there. So I'll, I'll do my holes just a little bit inboard in that circle, not a big deal. The middle ones line up just fine. Other than that, it's perfectly centered and good to go. So I'm gonna do very small pilot holes. I wasn't going to, but it makes me nervous. So small pilot holes and we'll do, it's labeled what size millimeter on the template. I'll show you when I'm doing it, what it calls for. So we're gonna go ahead and get this drilled and laid in make sure it works and then i'll show you how to take the rear bumper off because it needs to come off for two reasons a to fasten it underneath and i'm doing the exhaust the next couple days so it's all going to be off anyway so kind of killing two birds with one step all right i'm putting my tripod get this thing drilled and dry fitted all right here we go nerve-wracking Hopefully it's good. All right, they all look perfect. 
to each other. Hopefully we're in business. We'll find out here in a second. All right, so we're gonna do the seven first, because it's the oddball. Put some tape on this guy. It's gonna go about a quarter inch in. There is stuff in here you don't wanna hit. The other option is if you do this off the car, this is just easy. Oh, my exhaust came in today, by the way, for the car. I'm really excited about it. Now I have so much stuff going on at work and the home career projects. Uh, I, I'm so busy right now. But it's okay. All right. Where it's possible. Man, this is nerve wracking. Man, that's really easy. Holy cow. Right, let's switch to our nine. Perfect. Oh, I love it. Hell yeah. Heck yes. Whatever reason my phone isn't recording, but I just took off two sevens underneath here. One connects to a little mud flap right there. This guy just pulls right off. Not a big deal. You didn't miss very much. Uh, now we're just taking these two guys out right there. I think with that, we can get the... Uh, what we need to get inside of there, I'm pretty sure. And this little piece right here, I'm gonna cover this. They sell the little blanks for like, they're 50 bucks. I'm just gonna paint it uh, flat black with some high uh, temperature paint on the day. Yep, mine does have the bolt. Damn it. I was hoping by 23 they were like, you know, we don't need to put those on. But mine's got it. Not a big deal. Looks like, yeah, two sevens and a 10 way up there. No big deal. It's okay. and the last one's a 10 and it's really up there. I'm just gonna show it to you and get it out, but that's all you gotta do in the wheel well. All right, see it's way up there. It's highlighted or there's a light on it. Put a light on this guy for you. See it right there, right in the middle of your screen. So I'm just gonna finagle with that and get that out and then do the other side. Um, but then, But then we'll jump to the trunk and then underneath, be right back. All right, here's that stupid bolt that GM decided to weigh up in there. Uh, about 20 minute fight, it's just gonna kill your arm doing it. You only ratchet it like one ratchet at a time and it just sucks and you can't really use a long extension because the angle it's at, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, these are not going back on, stupid. All right, let me wrap up the other side and we'll go in the tub. Oh, and real quick, while we're underneath, both sides are wrapped up towards the wheel well. Uh, on the bottom, it's just two screws right there, the little Torx bits on both sides, and that's it. So, gotta tackle the trunk or tub, whatever you wanna call it, and then we can take this guy off. All right, honestly, getting this guy off, not that bad. The hardest part's been a stupid 10 millimeter. It's almost impossible to get to. All right, that honestly wasn't too bad. Get these guys off, release the spread tab, push it up. You're gonna press down in there and put, put a flat head inside of here. It'll come out, same thing right there. And this guy I'll show you over here. 
push this tab out and then push this down and that'll come out. All right, next we gotta do is a six, yeah, six total screws for both of the tail lights right there. And then we can mount our spoiler. Exhaust is gonna be much more of a pain in the ass. All right, and that's it. Uh, if you'd have to fight with those two bolts on this guy right here, probably an hour and a half job. That turns it into like a two and a half, three hour job. Not too bad at all. I did have to though, the alignment on the non-studded side down here, I believe, was off by, geez, eighth of an inch on both sides. So I had to kind of widen it. You have plenty of room though, don't stress, but the other four lined up perfectly. Yeah, that template was a little off, but you'll never know. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Obviously, I'm not putting it back on because I'm doing the exhaust tomorrow. And that little trick with the tire actually worked really well. You can do it with one person, not too bad at all. Cool, hope you guys enjoyed this. I clean this thing up, it's all blurred up. Cool. All right guys, I will see you probably Sunday with the exhaust. That's it over there. I'm really excited about this. So with this on there and the exhaust is all to totally transform it. So cool. All right, guys, I'll see you guys in a few days. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Any questions, feel free to ask. Mark out.